Let's hit a curb next. Three, two, one, go. All right, you guys, we're gonna be taking on and checking out a brand new pusher that does things that no other pusher will do. And that's because we've taken on a brand new account and it's tricky, it's tight, and we need a pusher that's gonna be able to handle what we're gonna be throwing at it. So without wasting more time, let's dive into today's video. The magic button. <laughs> do you know what that magic button does? Takes us into a place of warmth and serenity. When you live and work in Minnesota, a heated garage is warmth and serenity. Uh, so we have uh, a brand new pusher and we're gonna be taking a look at this bad boy right here. But let's bring her out. And this thing does something no other pusher in the world will do. Let's bring it out into the light and show these guys what we're dealing with. In the depths of the murky bottom garage. And it comes alive. It lives, I say. It lives. <laughs> but the door almost made it. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh my gosh. Look at how wide that goes. Holy crap. Holy crap. I am seeing this for the first time with you guys. Look how wide that thing goes. That's insane. Oh my god. That thing is awesome. That is so cool in real life, you guys. That is so cool. Now the one that I have on my pusher, what size does it go from and to? From seven feet to uh, 12 feet open. Uh, mainly this pusher was designed for uh, cleaning driveways uh, because uh, when you do straight driveways, you have to, uh, to back drag and also sometimes you have to push. And this is why we, uh, we came with uh, this pusher. Uh, 712, it's, uh, it's because uh, we we are using it for 75 uh, skid steel horsepower. Uh, we have smaller, like uh, 6 and 10 feet open for a smaller, like 65 uh, horsepower. Would that even fit on my Kubota R530, the bigger one? Uh, I think the, the Kubota R530 uh, will be too small. You, you may, It would be better with a 630 or a 640. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you are very particular about sizing this to the right unit to get the best performance out of it. Yes, of course. You know, two, if you go with the two big machines, you know, at the, uh, when you, you'll, um, you drive the, the wheel loader or skid steer, you, the, the machine will, uh, I think you say wobble uh, from back to, back to, uh, to the front. And two AV machine, two AV plow is not, it's not fun to drive. Okay, so where are you located, NTN? We are east uh, Canada, uh, far east from Canada. It's uh, where the uh, the invented the snow. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so you're in Canada where they invented snow. 
Yeah, I, I noticed that the trip edge trips the entire blade. So the entire blade, when it hits something, is designed to move. Is that right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's right. And if you see the wings, you have kind of torflex on top. It's uh, it's allow it's allow the the wings to flip too. Okay, so that means if you can you can hit a curb directly head on without worrying about it. You just don't recommend doing. I'm guessing you don't recommend doing it, but I'm I'm guessing you could. I don't know, NTN. You tell me. Yeah, it's a protection system. It's not it's not built to. How can I say that to constantly have a big impact? But it's 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 a protection system. It means that if you have an impact sometime, it will uh, it will save the blade and the driver too. Quick question for you, Antien. What is the warranty like on this thing? Uh, one year full warranty. One year full warranty. Now this does connect directly up to the hydraulics and the electrical system of the machine. I'm doing good, aren't I? At least he didn't run me over. Thanks for not running me over. That's what happens when you gotta try to film going bass backwards. Do, do we need to get you those like, glasses that have mirrors on the back? So <laughs> Some people are gonna say I need a walker pretty soon. I notice she uh, she tends to angle too. Yeah, she'll angle. She, she'll tilt. I don't know. I don't know what the degree of it is. We can put it up on a curb or a block or something. Let's see it right now. Way. There's a curb right here. The ability for this pusher to angle becomes relevant when you're working on uneven parking lots. So when you want a contour to a parking lot that's not perfectly flat. That's where this function comes in handy. What? Where is she angling at? I can't even tell. Thank you. There it is. There it is. Up, down, up, down. Right here. That's the beauty. Okay, put it down and leave it down this time. Okay, let's see how much of an angle we're at. Holy buckets. Boy, that contour is good. All right, let's hit a curb next. Three, two, one, go. Hey, this, this time when she hits, leave her tripped. I want to see where she's tripping at. that free flow huh? so it's free move all the way down okay so just push forward but don't lift up on the blade okay so she raises all the what she raises the whole blade up is designed to float freely from the loader all right back up okay let's see how these front edges hit They ride up, hop, hop. A little more, a little more. So that whole blade is tight, and boom, she's gone. So she can ride up and over a curb without killing the operators. I ain't testing that. Right, but it's working. I know. Alright, 
Let's open her up and see what she does. Raise it up and we'll open it and close it a few times. So we can see, see your slide right here. That's the magic right there. So that brace comes all the way over to here. Uh, and vice versa. All on these hydraulic cylinders. Let's flip the wings back. What, Zach? Flip the wings back. Do the wings for me. Open it back a hell of a lot faster. Open it, open it up more so I can get in there. Okay, now flip them forward and back. All right, let's let's try back dragging the curve. So this hand, the bottom left button, and this toggle right here, in and out. Toggle back, she goes out, toggle in, she goes in. The button right next to it, hold that one, same toggle button, now my wings are backwards, toggle it forward, wings are forward. Back, forward, in, out. Two buttons, one toggle switch. I can't say the other pieces of equipment are quite that easy to use, but for the cat, this thing is just very, very intuitive. I can't, I can't stress that enough. It's just a very simple, straightforward, all right from the controls of the machine type of a.
Raise it up once, I wanna look at these cutting edges. So this is a very similar cutting edge here and here and all through here. This is that high density propylene that we use on our back blades. Okay, so then the overlap point to keep it from actually uh, leaking snow is right there. Huh. this pusher a lot. Alright, machine is overwhelmed with snow. Let's bring our pusher in. over the back. to do but just how he can do what he wants to do even better oh oh yeah well that learning curve was about 10 minutes this is my first 10 minutes of running this thing right here you guys are part of it Right, here we go back into plowing. Get a 12 foot pusher on an 8 foot trailer. 
that's gonna do it for today's video you guys hope you enjoyed the ride i hope you learned a few things and tell me what you guys think of this unit in the comments down below i've had about a 10 minute learning curve with her and uh i will tell you that i am actually impressed and i don't say that about a whole lot of other things um <laughs> but i am this thing is so far i love I, i've loved everything that i've seen already to date that's it for this uh this adventure we will catch you guys on another one god bless go get them you guys see you later